POV, this is you. You want to try and get into great shape, so you decide to start eating healthier. But every time you try your best, you end up failing. Eating cheap meals, junk food, desserts. And trust me, I've been there before. I would consume junk foods and struggle to make gains. And then I would constantly lose progress. But then after years of making poor eating decisions, I discovered these three ways to actually help me improve my diet for years. And no, it's not monitoring your calories, intermittent fasting, or any of that complicated BS that fitness influencers try to sell you online. As a matter of fact, these three strategies allow me to eat junk food and cheat meals pretty often. Make sure to watch the full video because the last method I'm about to share with you guys will really open your eyes and make eating healthy easy. Before we dive right into the three strategies, you need to become aware of and understand why it's so hard nowadays to eat healthier. At the end of the day, it's so hard for us humans to eat healthier, especially when food is so much more accessible. I mean, we can literally order groceries from our home, we can order Uber Eats, and we can even order to go at any restaurant. Consuming food doesn't take any physical effort compared to the old days where we actually had to hunt for our food. On top of accessibility, most of the food industries aren't going to prioritize our health. They are going to prioritize profits. In doing so, many food industries will modify their foods so that they will taste better instead of healthier. Now, I'm not talking about all food industries, but I would say the vast majority of them. And the thing that really sucks is that the better quality food is, the more expensive it is. The reason why better tasting food is a problem for us is because it gives us more dopamine for our brains. So that's why we tend to have unhealthy healthy eating habits. So basically in this era, we have a whole system set up for us to achieve obesity. It's pretty effed up if you think about it. And the biggest reason why it's so hard for us to eat healthier is because you have developed I would say years of unhealthy eating habits. So that's why it's gonna be really hard for you to stay consistent with better foods. But that's why I made this video for you guys so we can help fight those unhealthy eating habits. So let's talk about the strategies that I discovered to help you become into the best shape of your life. The biggest reason why most people fail to eat healthier is because they try to do these huge drastic changes which causes them to fail in the long run. They try intermittent fasting, going vegetarian, keto diet, cutting down on a lot of calories. And the problem with that is that making a huge drastic change will actually be counterproductive to eating healthier. At the end of the day, we act like children. If our best tasting foods are eliminated from our diet, chances are our diet is going to fail. The key to improving your diet is by slowly replacing things. For me, I was a heavy soda drinker. Every time I would eat a home meal or go to a restaurant, I would always order Dr. Pepper because it just tasted so good. I mean, who doesn't love Dr. Pepper? But when I wanted to try and switch to just drinking only water, I would end up failing. And then the next week, I would just end up ordering only sodas. And as a result, my gains would suffer. So what I actually tried doing instead was that the next three times I would be able to drink Dr. Pepper, I would, but then the fourth time I would only drink water. And then maybe a few weeks later, it would become easier Then I would be able to drink two Dr. Peppers and then two waters. You can also apply this to eating fast food. Maybe three days out of the week, you will eat fast food and on the fourth day, you will try to eat a home cooked meal or just healthier food. This is the key to actually improving your diet, which is making small gradual changes. And over time, these small gradual changes will compound and you will see amazing results in your diet. As a result of me making small gradual changes to my diet, I only love drinking sparkling waters instead of sodas. Majority of the time, I only eat home cooked meals and every once in a while, I might grab some junk food and some dessert. Yeah, I love junk food. However, it's actually become easier to avoid and honestly, I'm just not as interested in it. Yeah, I get that fast food is just busting and tastes great. However, after making small gradual changes, it's become easier to avoid and less tempting. And you actually might enjoy it more. Now this method in particular is a game changer for improving your diet and eating healthier. Instead of focusing on carbs like bread, pasta, and sugar, focus on proteins instead. The reason being is that focusing on protein helps you to feel more full and it will leave less room for other unhealthy carbs. 
and it also helps our muscles recover for those of us who are training. So what really helped me was learning to enjoy the taste of protein, especially beef and chicken. I love steak and fajitas so much I could eat them every day to be honest. And sorry for my vegetarians and my vegans out there, but you are missing out. It's just a joke, please don't cancel me. Focusing on proteins will help you reduce your calorie intake. The best way to eat healthier and get into shape is by just not eating too excessively. That's why eating proteins are super beneficial. If you prioritize protein, it will leave less room for other unhealthy carbs like processed sugars and gluten. This is just a bonus tip, but I would highly recommend that you focus on prioritizing natural sugars over processed sugars. Processed sugars are harder to break down, so your body will spend more energy and time to absorb that energy. Same thing goes for my gluten and bread and pastas. Gluten is pretty hard for your body to break down. Now that explains why we get so tired and sleepy after a big meal. Some great sources of protein that you can prioritize eating are chicken breast, lean cuts of beef, turkey, Greek yogurt, egg whites, and fish. Some plant-based protein options are beans, nuts, quinoa, tofu, and lentil pasta. When most people make an actual change in their lives, it's not really because they want to, but more because they are forced to. Imagine this, someone named Joe is overweight. They eat desserts all the time, junk food, alcohol, all of the above. His wife is very concerned for him, so she tells him that he needs to start eating healthier and improve his diet. But he pushes it off and says that he will start tomorrow or next week. Next thing you know, this continues for years and his diet doesn't improve. One Saturday morning, he wakes up and he has a heart attack and he is rushed to the hospital. His wife and his kid are crying at his hospital bed. His doctor tells him that if he doesn't improve his diet, he will die within the next two weeks. That's the point where Joe actually starts to work out and improve his diet. It was because he was actually forced to whereas he wanted to. This may not be the most realistic scenario, but it could actually happen to us when we get older in our 60s because you keep pushing off your workouts and keep consuming junk foods. Now the point in the story is not to scare you into working out or anything like that. It's actually to help you learn how to create a sense of urgency in your life without that scenario happening. A way you can create that sense of urgency is that whenever you're about to skip a workout or consume unhealthy food, ask yourself, is this short-term pleasure really worth me having the possibility of experiencing this in the future? Would I really want to risk having to put my family or friends in a position to witness me experience that? You probably already know the answer to that. And for those of my viewers watching who may want kids in the future or have kids already, chances are that your kids will absorb the habits that you have for yourself and experience the same path as you. After hearing this, you might have little motivations to start eating healthier. But the thing is, I really care about your health and I don't want you to try for a day or two and end up failing. What you want to do is use these three tips as a strategy combined. Focus on using that sense of urgency to create small gradual changes. Focus on eliminating small things that could be easily replaced with healthier foods. Focus on prioritizing proteins over carbs so that you feel full and end up consuming less calories. And also actually try to genuinely enjoy these foods. Now that's the actual best way to start eating healthier. And if you can do this, you will be set up for life. This channel is a bit more calisthenics slash fitness based, but if you want a free calisthenics beginner's guide, I will leave the link in the description so you can get one absolutely free. Make sure to stay tuned for more bangers and peace.